Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Um, because yeah, so um, I want to, I want to at, um, mention we're with the public, so like we're on a, on a general level, to I'd like to, doing to look at um, local fisheries that stuff are like that. Uh, so get classed as unsustainable for cod and like food. Um, so I want to work yeah. with Pete at Harbour Lights in trying to improve the world sourcing yeah. for, for the supply of his cod and haddock. But how are you um, going to actually... But obviously there's contradictory uh, evidence at the moment saying that, you know, scientists and the fish, UK fish fisheries are sure. saying that um, there's a lot of we have a sustainable yeah. fishery, uh, you know, just on our doorstep, but yeah. the um, official stand is that it's not. That so is going to be the Newlands, problem that I haven't you know, looked into yet because it's still, I've been talking to you. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, my aim is to value, prove, is um, to show the kids of the community here um, so like to, what they I mean, can that's find and hopefully like what they could lead on to in the future. Like they might not have some of your same people to do intervention, um, which you'll so be able to do. So you need to measure with your intervention having the effect. Yeah, so like measure that's the key. Yeah, now before you're making decisions, that is you have to be really clear on what it is. Want yeah. to measure yeah. and I think that's what Clive is trying to really get you to think about. You have to give your examples something to be able to measure. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to come out. You could do a lot, a lot of hard, good work without nothing. And mm -hmm. so we're talking about the end of the day, you get a big tick yeah. in April next year. So I'm thinking, so you're the guy who's on the cell at the moment. Where's your testimony? Yeah, I was going to say. And then you'll have something to measure. Yeah. I mean, the oyster gathering. We're getting excited yeah. about it. There we are. Okay. Okay. This is great. Yeah. Uh, so just a possibility, an idea. Um, I think that most people On the other side, have you contacted MTS themselves? Yeah. Because no, you know, if the problem is that they're saying something different to the fisheries, the government, then speaking to them, you're not really pushing to understand why mm. frontiers yeah. of science. Like whether they've got recent data, yeah. however, whether what they really are just a bit behind, or whether they do have a problem with that's fisheries really industry, what they're saying. I know that yesterday, mm -hmm. they've been pushing the boundaries, sort of pushing so, the um, European Parliament. Uh, um, I tell ban on discards, but also if you have scientific evidence to be used, to be used more very good determining uh, the sustainability of fish in this show of how um, you um, and yeah. I think there's been some good news That's what I think regarding that. that great I'm not sure what it is, but I think there's a good idea to come to that. Of course, it's a bit more difficult. But you've got to actually yeah. narrow it down. Yeah. You've got to what are they actually going to do? A specific aim. Yeah, like what? This was the one page summary of it. Because at the moment it's just much too broad. Yeah, it's not something you could write a book about rather yeah. than do a research project. Yeah. So you've got to say, is, are you going to focus on my, the guy at Harbour Lights issue and keep it completely localised like that? Or are you going to do a comparison like that? Yeah, really nice because if it's something they tell you about sustainable then don't do fish, it. They what you might and is sustained fish, is it possible to compare or have in depth interviews? Do, you know, do you know, do have some focus group on the issue beforehand and then can you compare those that with what happens here and why they have sustained rights? Is it very sustainable here? Just think a little bit about it. What it is exactly is that you want to just sort of do a what are the right. issues for no, someone yeah. like that? So you've just got to pull them off the bench or you're going to find a strange English Yeah, I think it's, it's more the, uh, the local. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Like like uh, yeah, like they've got a science club and I was going to see if you could then do a full month once a week. You need to talk to them. Right, sorry. Yeah, they do have a sustainable stock. Which just means to me that I think it's the easiest. Falling out of there. Because they get involved. It's the most sustainable. They get involved, mm -hmm. and uh, they've just started it there as a new program. That's with them. We've got and it's something that the your help and work would probably be yeah. used yeah. to them as well. Yeah. And, yeah. and they've got they, they look tense. Uh, the classification of the The schools are two schools, right? Yeah. So they know that they fish there and bring cod in from there. So there's no market value in it. Okay, I'm going to be carrying on just to hear it. I'm trying to help it. I don't know how similar or complex that might turn out to be. What was felt? Um, basically, it's like um, seal identification. Um, so I will go out to Black Rock um, on some boats and actually go out and try and spot any seals, be able to identify them with their um, markings. 
um, and there are, I think, three seals that um, go on a migration route from Lou all the way round to, um, I think it's like Pendennis. And I want to see if they actually show up on Black Rock, so whether they use that as a migration route or whether it's more of like a regular thing that they are just sort of staying there. Um, so Migration or just, just cruising and breeding? Well, anything really, like obviously like breeding season, whether they're there, um, whether they actually, yeah, just sort of go from, from the all the way round, yeah, eating and that, or they just actually sort of live there more than anything else um, and also I'm going to try and um, do some public engagement um, and Jess has built her relationship with St Mary's and St Francis um, in Falmouth so I'm hopefully going to be able to go there um, their schools, primary schools um, and uh, with uh, I think year, uh, eight year olds um, and they like you know cuddly toys and things like that, yeah, just to um, sort of try and get them to be more aware of um, what goes on. Um, and also I'm hopefully going to be able to get the first years involved as well as a volunteering. Um, so I'll be able to sign them up on the first week. So what, what do you plan to do? Um, you will carry on from Fell Pick, which was you know, to, to survey the animals yeah. that live on that rock. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Okay. So you're going to carry that thing on? Yeah, so I'm going to. Well, you're engaging the school crops. <laughs> um, well, Jess was, wasn't <laughs> able to <laughs> gather the data <laughs> from that rock, so she had to do the public engagement side of it. So she hasn't done a survey of She's tried to, yeah, she's got a few pieces of data, but I'm going to try and get the first to help me out with collecting the data so that I can start gathering it, doing the statistics of it. So what are you going to do? One thing I'm going to start as soon as I get back after summer. Um, and hopefully the first years will be able to help me out. They'll start to get their volunteering in, but also I'll be able to use them to collect the data. Mm -hmm. the the yeah, yeah, she wasn't able to get out because she's got children, so she couldn't either get out onto the boats or in the bad weather. Um, so, yeah, but I'm hopefully going to try and get a spotting scope as well. I can use have limited fishing of like and will sustain what like this being mm -hmm. like, so mm -hmm. you know they, they perhaps would be sustained. And how have you talked to anybody about access to this boat? Stock. Yeah. So you're yes, mm -hmm. it's a well, well managed stock, stock sustainable. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. everybody in so the area So once you've finished with this, I want you to nip around there and just have a quick brief chat with Harriet. Because she's on the panel, but she's the person that you need to actually say, my project needs access to your boat and to your pilot. Yeah, okay. So is it possible? Yeah, just a quick The other thing might be to say to carry on the change for the commission. If you could speak to the crew and the pilot boat, back and forth, there would be time. Yeah. And have yeah. a yeah. camera. Yeah. There is another one. That would be ideal. And have a camera with a date on it and a time. Yeah. And each time you go past, you take a picture of it. Yeah. That's yeah. probably the most comprehensive way to get you. Yeah. 24 hours a day. But you'll yeah. have to get them fully engaged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. 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 Are you just trying to identify how many seals of blood are here? We'll be going into the fish and chips. Yeah, just want to see how many are there. So you've got, if you're going to tell a local story, you've got to be But I am going to try and focus on the three that travel from the That's what I see the issue being. You know, are you going to say, look at policy? Or are you <laughs> well, I'm going to try and out, go out as many times yeah. as possible uh, yeah. throughout the year <laughs> um, and just see if they're spotted yeah. like, throughout the two different times of the year. Have they got a particular place in Lubin? I do not. I was already aware that it was that fact that you just get to find it. There's a place that's called Seal Team, which will soon say, and you've been doing this for a while, and you've been doing this for a while. So now about five years worth of data, and in essence, what they've done is they've spotted in. Lou, taking photographs and identified them, you know, called it, given it an end. Yeah, and then they, she does continuous work at Adrivi. Right. So yes. they found that some of them go all the way around to Adrivi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the question is, do they come into France? Right. Or do they not? So Chloe's yes. been thinking of and suggested a lot of work with Sue Lannister. Yeah, yeah. But she identified particular ones, didn't she? She did. She said no. They've got no names. Well, there's, there's yeah. a, I mean, I'm Henry again, top of the room. Yeah. And uh, on particular high time, there's an old boy, I haven't seen him this year, but there's an old fella comes up, yeah. I'm down, you know, and I've seen him in a number of years, yeah. and he pops up, they follow the bats up, and the bats yeah. come up. 
So that's the top of the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it's gone. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. If I say it, it's still easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y